So our last prompt was castle, so I wanted to join in and I 3D printed this little thing on my resin printer. Um, I found a castle design that I liked and I made it a bit different in uh, Fusion 360 and printed it out like this in three pieces. It took me about seven hours to print and then cleaning and uh, putting into UV light to cure. Now it is ready for me to paint so I'm going to start from the inside out and I decided on some colors for the rooms and some flooring that I'm cutting here and placing in the rooms. This is just a piece of paper with a piece of tape on top of it. I was not sure what I would do with the ceiling in this room, but I decided to go with this um, light brown color and I'm doing that in the bottom of all three parts. I am painting these edges also, so the edge here on the floor and the edge of the walls here, I'm painting that all in the same color and I'm doing that on both the pieces with the room inside. I left the paint to dry all the way up before I continued. Then I took my super glue gel and I glued the two bottom layers together first, made sure it was really grabbing, and then I glued on the top here. Now to the outside of this little castle that I made. I'm just uh, painting it in a dark grey color. Uh, this is the base color that I am using right here. This little castle is, um, it was supposed to be in 1 to 144, but it got a little smaller because uh, if I would have made it in that size, it was actually really, really big. I want to have this little castle to stand in my big dollhouse when it's all done, so I needed it to be a little smaller than it would have been if I have made it in 1 to 144, but it's almost there. I'm using a dry brush technique to put these uh, white um, spots or speckles on the house, on the front of it, and I'm doing that on all the wall part here and the uh, roof of this little castle. Then with some white paint on a tiny paintbrush, I am painting on a few bricks here and there on this castle. First some in white and then later some in a uh, light grey color. I'm doing this all over the castle to make it look more real.
I'm painting the inside of these windows uh, that is not with a hole. I am painting those black and then this top part of the door I'm painting that black too and of course the two uh, roof parts on the towers. The edge around the windows, the window frame and the door, I am uh, painting them all white, carefully and neatly. Then there is this uh, divider line between first and second floor and between uh, second floor and the um, roof here and I'm going to paint that little line white also. Again I am taking my time to do this really nice and neat. Then I am going to glue a little greenery here and there in the edges and up the uh, sides of the castle just a little here and there to make it look a little more um, yeah, realistic, cute, call it what you want. Mm -hmm. I have a few furniture in 1 to 144 and they are a little too big for this little house but I am going to use them anyway and I'm going to glue a few of them in place in this little house and I have this little figurine also I'm going to place that That is it for this little uh, craft, my little castle. This was after the prompt castle from Ara, uh, Bentley House Miniatures prompt list. If you want to see what she did, then I will link in the info box below to her video. So that's my video. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.